Yeah, Paul, just by this time tomorrow, if nothing changes, Richard Glossop will be dead. For friends and family, time is now running out. But today here at the Capitol, his own daughter told me she's not giving up. At the state capitol, it could be called a final stand. A few dozen people fighting for a man's fate that's been all but sealed. Are you ready to face that reality? No. No, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. In the crowd, Richard Glossop's own daughter, Erica, who admitted her father is ready for what Wednesday brings. He's accepted it. He said where he wants his remains to be, you know, poured out at and what song he wants to have played and everything and I don't like hearing it but we have to talk about it sometimes. So. But Tuesday the only talk how to keep Glossop alive. The crowd making their way outside the governor's office to voice their plea yet again. And we ask that you do the right thing and grant this man a 60 or 90 day stay of execution. And inside Governor Fallon's office Glossop supporters staged a sit-in taking time to sing I shall not, I shall not be moved. But not hearing the answer, the daughter of a convicted man came to hear. I believe we have pretty good evidence, and I'm really hoping that when she comes out today to talk about it, that she'll go ahead and give him a stay. Now, those supporters remain in the governor's office until it closed today at 5 p.m. No appearance by the governor, but she did issue a statement. Richard Glossop, meanwhile, set to die tomorrow at 3 p.m. Live at the Capitol, Morgan Chesky, KFCO, 5 News. Morgan.